All right, we got one cup self-rising cornmeal, one and a quarter cup self-rising flour. That's gonna be your dry ingredient. Give them a little stir, just like this. We'll get that incorporated and mixed up good. Now after your dry ingredients are mixed up and good, let's go to the wet ingredients. We got two eggs. Get both of them in, a, in your bowl, just like that. Now at this time, one stick of melted butter. Not hot, don't get it too hot, just melted. You don't want to cook the eggs. Get that melted, get it ready. Don't add it just yet because you don't want, again, you don't want to cook your eggs. We got buttermilk. We're going to put three quarter of a cup of buttermilk. Maybe just a hair more. That's how you like it. We're going to give that a little whisk. like that we're gonna come in with our one stick of butter kind of keep it moving we don't want it like I said it's warm it, it's melted it's not hot you can see the bottom is actually just a little bit still sticking in there we'll get all that out we want all that butter that's where our moisture is at all right we got our butter Again, this is not going to really make it a sweet cornbread, but it's going to give it that extra moisture you're looking for. We're going to go in with about four teaspoons of honey. I'm kind of cheating because honey is hard to measure and keep in a spoon. But we're going to go with that about that amount of honey. Again, if you don't if you don't like it too sweet, add less honey. If you like it a little sweeter, if you like it sweet, you're gonna have to add a lot more honey because this is not gonna be sweet. It's just gonna kind of give it a good texture and a good flavor. All right, now that we've got all our liquids, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna incorporate this into our dry ingredients. Now we're going to give this a good stir, and we just want to get it all blended up, get a good texture. And if you get to a point where you think you need a little bit more liquid, the easiest thing to add is the buttermilk. And sometimes I do. That's why it's hard for me to get ingredients or anything out to people, because I do a lot by feel, a lot by look. Me personally, I think, you know, just a hair more, not much. Look, we're just going to go in with a little bit more buttermilk. Get it a little bit more. That's about what we're looking for right here. That's going to make some motherfucking cornbread right here. All right, now we've got our skillet. If you're doing this in the oven... Get your skillet in the oven prior to getting started. Let it preheat. I've got mine preheated on, on some coals. I'm gonna go in with about a, oh, maybe not that, but we're gonna do about a half, half a stick of butter, and we're gonna let it melt down in here. And again, we're all about that moisture. We wanna keep that cornbread nice and juicy. We're going to let that melt down. We're going to get the lid on there and let it melt down. And once that skillet is ready with that butter in there, then we're going to come back and get the rest of it going. All right, we got that skillet preheated. If you're going to do this in your oven again, 
get your get your skillet preheated get your butter in there uh, if you cook it in the oven do not put a lid on it do not put the top on it just leave it open if you're doing it outside of course you're gonna have to put a put the lid on it so you don't get a cold inside your cornbread well in my case this is motherfucking cornbread but all right so we got our batter down in here let's get that out the way let's get this spread out a little bit get, get it set in there get it on the, hold on, let me get a little bit of coal, we got a little coals on the head now, you don't want too much, we're cooking it in a skillet, it's not going to take a lot of heat on the bottom, we'll get us a little, get us a little coal around the outer edges more so than underneath the skillet. Get them on the outside. You really don't want them right underneath the skillet too much. Maybe just two or three. And we'll get over here. We'll get us a little bit on top. And we're going to let it cook for a few minutes. Probably going to take it in the oven. I'd say in the oven you need to go about 375, going to take about 20 minutes, 20, 22 minutes. Out here, we're going to run somewhere around 350, and it's going to take us about 20, 25 minutes. Well, it's been about 10, 12 minutes. We're going to take this lid, and we're just going to rotate it about 180, about like that. Then we're going to rotate the whole skillet about like this just to prevent maybe from having some hot spots. That way it'll cook more even. Uh, if there is a hot spot on one side or the other, you rotate your lid, rotate the pot, and that'll just keep that from cooking one side faster than the other. It'll keep, it'll cook more even. And, uh, We'll see in a minute what she look like. All right, let's see what that old cornbread is looking like. We got it done, I believe. Woo! That's that motherfucking cornbread right there.